Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to make a private channel. So, generally, to create a private channel, all you have to do is go to, like, whatever section you want to put it in, or just right-click an empty space on the left-hand sidebar of your server and, and hit the button Create Channel. In this case, I need a new log channel for Discord to send security messages to, for only my moderators to see. So to do that, I'm gonna go down to private stuff and recording, and I'm gonna click on the create channel plus mark on this category. From here, I can name this text channel whatever I want. This is Discord system security info or alerts. And then at the bottom, I'll say make this a private channel. And then it'll go from create channel at the bottom when I toggle on private channel to next, because now it's going to ask me which members on my server do you want to have access to the specific channel? In this case, by default, my admins all have access to every channel because that's how being an admin works. But I also want my helpers and my moderators to be able to see this so that they can know what's going on in the server as well. So now it's at the bottom. I'm going to click and drag this up here at the top. And then I can go over here and hover over it and get this gear that says edit channel. And now as I look around in the system permissions on the second tab here in the side, it'll tell me who has access to see this channel. So here it shows me these people here at the top, the roles of owner, admin, all these bots, and these are the people set up to see who has access to this channel. So it's me, the owner. My admins can see this because they're administrator. You can see in the sidebar because these all have administrator, including these bots. They all can see this no matter what. And then it's also got my monster moderator. I can remove them from being able to see it by hovering over here and clicking the X and my helpers. Same thing. And then it also shows me what members specifically can view this uh, as the server owner i can see everything so if there is another specific member who didn't have a role who could see everything i would be able to add them and then they would show up here just like these other two roles do and i could remove them by hovering over and clicking this x if they were in that list and then the only permission tied to this is everybody else doesn't get to view this channel but helpers can see this channel and monster moderators can see this channel. That's the only permission tied to this. Most of this is pretty automatic when you tell Discord, I want this to be private. And then there shouldn't be any invites associated with this channel, nor should there be any integrations. And if I wanted to delete it, I could just go down here and click delete channel and say, yes, delete that channel. And that for the most part is it. Um, it'll also tell you when you're clicked into the channel. Like if I click back over in here, you can see it tells me these are the people here at the top of the of the discussion board before I start typing in here that have access. So you can kind of see really quickly who has access that way as well. And then if people are online and currently viewing the bot, they'll also appear in the sidebar. Although it looks like my admins for the most part are not currently available for comment or they have their status set to invisible. So the reason why I create, oh, there you go. You can see my one of my moderators just popped in. So they, they show up here being able to see this. Um, now what I want to do is I want to go to my server settings. I want to go to community overview. Uh, I didn't set a safety notification channel yet, so I'm going to do that right now. So I have uh, so many channels, I just need to type in the actual name. So I can find it and now I can save changes and now all of that information that Discord wants to send to the moderators about being a community server will get routed to this channel. That second part isn't really important to most people, just the how to create the private channel, but that's the whole reason why I made this channel today. So I figured I'd let you know. Um, so that's it for this one. Creating a private channel is actually relatively easy. Just add the people that you want to see it, either by role or by name. And that's it. Most of it is done for you these days. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.